In the words of George S. Patton, it is foolish and wrong to mourn the men who died. Rather, we should thank God that such men lived. Today and every day, we should celebrate those who selflessly gave everything because they believed in something much bigger than themselves. That something is the idea of freedom. They fought wishing and praying that no other generation would have to ever face the brutality of war nor have to make the same sacrifice. That their sacrifice would give liberty to every future generation in America and spread through the entire world. But here's where we're at. We are so spoiled today because of these brave men and women, so selfish that many of us can't even fathom nor understand the importance of their actions. We are so disconnected from what war actually means, we call for it amongst ourselves. We go online, on our expensive phones, in the comfort of our homes, with a paid phone service, happily fed and clothed, and what? Complain about how terrible this country is? It's sad to see so many in this country willing to give up their rights and who are also fighting to take those rights away from fellow Americans. It's sad to see so many who want socialist and communist ideas. Those ideas that have destroyed countries across millennia not only denied ba people basic freedom, but cruelly and violently ripped their individuality from them. So today, I want to challenge you, each one of you watching this video to take a moment and be thankful for those who went before us, who sacrificed everything, so we would have the freedom to voice our opinions, so we have the freedom to be selfish because of them. America is the last line of defense for freedom, and our founding fathers gave us the blueprint as a country to be the stewards of it. We have an unspoken covenant to protect what all have died fighting for.